Hello folks, in this video I'm going to explain how I made this jumping game in Python using Pygame. Now, the game is a clone of a popular mobile game called Doodle Jump and the concept is quite simple. The player is constantly bouncing on these platforms and the only control that I have is to move him left and right. And as he does this he will continue climbing higher and higher until I fall off and you have to start all over again. There's a score counter in the top left so you can see that slowly increasing as I jump up and this shows how far I've climbed. There's also a high score in this game, which you may have just seen pop up at the top there. It's always drawn as a line across the screen to basically mark the high score point as a sort of like achievement line. So now that I've passed that, I know that I have set a new high score for this game. The score also allows me to control the difficulty. So the first thousand or so points, everything is stationary. There's no enemies and the platforms are still, but you will have noticed there as I got a little bit further up, the platforms you see there, they start to move. And if I get a little bit further still, which I'm struggling with, uh, you see these birds appearing and these enemies basically flying across the screen. So that's the concept of this game. It's not too difficult, but there's some useful features in here that are, are quite interesting to code. So I'm just going to get straight into that now. So first of all, you're going to need some kind of editor to be able to make your games. Now I use Sublime Text Editor, which you can see at the top here. There are many different options. You can choose whatever you like, but if you want to follow along with these and have it look exactly the same as mine, then this is free. Sublime Text is the editor that I'm using. Of course, then you also have to have Python and Pygame installed. I'm not going to cover all that just now, but uh, if you get any errors, for example, the first line is going to be import Pygame. So if this gives you an error saying that the Pygame module does not exist, well, that means that you need to uh, download and install Pygame. The instructions for that are fairly straightforward and you can get them from Pygame's website. So to continue with the code, like I said, the very first thing is we import the Pygame module. That's what allows me to create that window and have all the images on the screen and so on. After that, I need to initialize it. I'll add a comment to say initialize Pygame and I type pygame.init. And actually, I like to comment my code, so I'll put another comment right at the top, which will say import libraries. So at the moment, I only have Pygame imported, but as the game grows, I'm going to import additional libraries. To add comments, you just start them off with the symbol here, and then whatever is after it grays out and is not going to be run as code. Now, the next thing is to create that game window that you just saw. So for that, I need to define a couple of variables. I'll start off with a comment to say game window and the variables that I need are the width and the height in pixels. I'm going to say that screen underscore width and I'm going to set mine to 400 pixels screen underscore height I will set to 600 pixels. Now you notice that I used capital letters for these variables. This is just Python convention. These variables are going to be constants. So there'll be variables that are going to change throughout the game. For example, my score counter, that's going to go up as the player moves up the screen, but the screen width and screen height are set at the beginning and they don't change again. So that's why I set them in capital letters. With this defined, I can create my game window. I'll add another comment to say create game window. And actually this should say game window dimensions. So that's basically saying it's 400 pixels wide and 600 pixels tall. That's the height of it. To create a game window, I need to assign it to some kind of variable. I'm going to call my game window screen. So this is arbitrary. You can call it whatever you like, but I'm saying that my game window is going to be called screen and I'm going to assign that to pygame.display.set underscore mode. And this is what creates that game window. So within here, I need to put in those two arguments or those two variables that I've just defined. Now I notice I put two sets of brackets and within them, I put my screen width first and then the screen height. So this will create a game window with those sizes and it's going to assign it to this variable screen. I can run this code now and you notice it flashes up just for a second and then disappears again. But I know that so far everything is working well. Next thing I want to do is add a caption to that screen. I'll say pygame.display.set underscore caption. And this is just going to be the text that's in the top of the of the game window. So right now it just says, I mean, you won't see it because it disappears, but it just says Pygame window. So I'm going to call it Jumpy. That's just the name of my game. So if I run this again, you won't see it. it's too quick, but when the window stays there, you'll see what that caption does. 
Now, the reason why this game window appears and then disappears instantly is simply because Python is running through this code from top to bottom, line by line, and executing them. So essentially, it runs through all these things, it creates a game window, and then the code is finished. There's nothing to keep doing, therefore the game finishes. What I need is some kind of loop. I need the game to constantly stay on the screen until I tell it to exit. And for this, I'm going to use a while loop. So a while loop is essentially my game's main loop. I'll say while, and then while needs some kind of variable. So a while loop will say, for example, while a condition is true, then we'll execute all the code within it. So I need to create a condition, first of all, that is set to true. I'll add a comment to say game loop, and my condition is just going to be a run variable. So the run variable is going to be set to true in the beginning. That's what it starts off as. And then I can say while run, which basically means as long as that variable run is true, then we continue executing the code that's within here. So right now there's nothing there, but I will add in my all the game logic in here. Notice this time the run variable is not capitalized. Now this run variable at the moment is set to true, but it will change to false within the game. So it's not a constant variable. That means it doesn't go into caps. If I was to run this code, it would have the opposite effect of what happened previously. So rather than running, showing up the window and then disappearing, it would simply freeze. Because I have this while loop, and then I'm saying just execute this indefinitely, I have no way of ending it. So it will just never stop until I forcefully close the program down. So I need a way of handling inputs within this while loop. I need a way of being able to uh, press keys on the, ma on the keyboard and click the mouse and basically close it down. So for that, I use Pygame's event handler. So let's add a comment to say event handler. And the event handler is going to iterate through all of the events. To iterate, we use a for loop. For event in pygame.event.get. And then I can look for particular events. So the event that I'm looking for is when I click the X in the top right of the game, or well, the window, basically. So that event I can check for by saying if event dot type is equal to pygame dot quit. And that is that event. So that is basically saying, have I just clicked the X in the top right? If I have, then I want the game window to quit. So remember this while condition or this while loop was run on this variable. So to come out of this while loop, I just need to make sure this variable is no longer true. I need to set it to false. I'll say run equals false. And just to finish everything off, I come all the way out of this loop and right at the end, after all that code is run, I say pygame.quit. So essentially it's the opposite to pygame.init that I did right at the beginning. Now if I run this code again, it comes up, you can see my uh, caption at the top of the window and it's not hung up. There's nothing on the screen, but the window is there. And I can click this X and that will exit it out for me. Now the next thing I wanna do is actually add on a background. So this is not just a black image. To do that, I need to load in the image into Pygame. So my background image is stored. If I come up and, and show the folder structure here, this is the folder that I'm in right now. So I have this tutorial folder and then there I have my code. So this is the code that we're working with here. And next to it, I have another folder called assets. Within that folder is my background. So that's the image that I've got within that folder. So you need to arrange it in the same way. You can name these folders and the files, whatever you like. However, you need to make sure that you tell that within Pygame. So now I can start loading in the images. Underneath where I've created my game window, but above my game loop, I will add a little section and I will say load images. So to load an image, I'll assign it to a variable. I'll say bg underscore image is equal to pygame.image.load. And this is the point where I give it the address and the location of that file. So in my case, I have to go into this folder called assets and then forward slash bg.png. So like I was saying, if you have it named any differently, so if you've called this images or pictures or anything like that, you need to make sure that you change that here. Otherwise, you will end up with an error that says that the file cannot be found. And at the end, we just say dot convert underscore alpha. Now the image is loaded but it won't actually come up on the screen. So I didn't get any errors there. So I know that it's loaded the image correctly, but it's not showing on the screen. And that's the next step. To show the image onto the screen, I can use the blit function from Python. So I can go into, or sorry, from Pygame. I can go into my main game loop and I can keep the event handler right down the bottom and have everything else just above it. So I'll add a comment here to say, draw background. 
To draw anything onto the display window, you first of all need to call that window. So mine is called screen. So I can say in here, screen.blit, and then you define the name of the image you want to blit. In my case, it's bg underscore image, followed by the location on the screen. So this is going to be the x and the y coordinates. I want this to be blitted in the top left corner, which is going to be coordinate 0, 0. If I run this again, nothing happens yet. So although I'm loading the image and I'm telling Pygame to show it onto the screen, for some reason it's not coming up. And that reason is that there's one more line that's still missing. So at the end of all of this, even below the event handler, I need to tell Pygame that I want the screen to be updated. So throughout this game loop, I'm going to be calling a whole bunch of different blit methods. So there's going to be the background, the player, the platforms, the birds, all of that kind of stuff is going to be put in this main game loop. It doesn't automatically get added on, however. Pygame needs to then be told, now take all of that information and update the screen with it. So the line for that is still within the while loop. I say update display window. Pygame.display.update. So if I run this again, I now have a background coming up. So the basics of the game are starting to come together. I've got a kind of initial structure set up for it. The next thing that I want to do is actually add on the player and add some control so I can move him left and right and about the screen. I'm going to do that in the next video. So for now, if you found this useful, then please leave a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.